in my eagerness to finish this portion, I forgot to put in the bleed circuits. And that's because I didn't draw them in on my drawing. So I'm going to have to add that. And now they're in. So now I can move back to the other bench and uh, work on setting up the saddles while I still have the factory strings uh, before I take them off to take out the pickups to fix the ends of the tabs and uh, mm, grease the tuners and uh, see if I can put a little bit of better back angle on the three treble strings I looked at it with my magnifying glass and uh, the back angle is not that good in the nut. So I'm going to make some little slots back there and uh, try to improve that before I jump to the idea of putting a string tree up here. And off we go. Well, plan uh, A to sand off some of the metal tab which I thought was the only part and then the base plate that was uh, you know rubbing against the lower level here I can see that there's two levels to this there's a cap of about 3 sixteenths of an inch on the lower part of the mahogany and I thought it was only the lower level that was doing it however the upper part the upper cap as well is also doing there's a bulge in the wiring here and the tape uh, gone around has been worn off and I can actually see the red wire um, coming through the tape here because of the rubbing on the inside of the cavity so the Dremel tool and by hand is going to be used again trying to uh, do some work here that uh, have to be really really careful not to screw up the, the outside of it and the light is uh, particularly a problem for me. Trying to get some good light right down in there. I was using my flashlight there for a bit. Okay. Maybe I can uh, just let my flashlight lie like this. Yeah, okay, I'll try that. Hmm, the mahogany wood smells good. Yeah, I've just added a little bit of tape after I took the vacuum out and Oh, because I'm having a problem with this area see a little bit of scratching there because I'm I'm touching the outside surface every so often with it as I'm trying to make this thing work in and out in and out in and out I'll probably be able to get that out with compound see if I get some okay it's much better it could use a little bit more off Um, I'm just going to touch up this corner down here as well and a little bit more there I can see I'm not exactly level here so I'm gonna work on that let you know what I'm how, I, how it works out hold on Okay, I have it free floating in the cavity, way better than it was. I think this corner, is it? Okay, it's not rubbing on the tape anymore. But it still doesn't adjust well. Uh, with those sponge pads so I'm going to have to do something about those but at least now that's okay uh, I've learned here from this one 
that I need to tape up around the edge to make sure that uh, I am not going to scratch any part of the top because I have got some small abrasions around here where I've been working in the uh, poly and uh, I'm going to have to do some compounding to be able to get that out. So I'm going to tape these up and uh, go back and now, now do this one because it's also stuck against that wall and uh, I don't see the tape anywhere but but I'll, I'll have to do a, the, the whole thing and make sure it has full free floating. still grinding out on this side even if I push it all the way over to that side on the treble side yeah a little bit more inside the the tab area I think and I, I might just have it I'm having trouble getting uh, what I need in the corners with this little sanding drum because it's too large around and I'm going to change that to my mini router bit to be able to get better uh, width narrow narrower width in there but these are a little bit more dangerous to use so Huh. I'm going to lower it a little bit. Try to get a little bit best control of it as possible. Because these things bite harder than the sanding discs. Alright, a combination of routing out and uh, sanding down the edge of this tab which is not exactly flat I'm going to take a little bit more off of it um, I've got it to free float and I'll be able to use the original screw holes now you know they were a little bit too far this way so that required material from the inside here and some of that so I didn't have to plug and re-drill the holes so I'm just going to try to flatten that off There. That makes the tab look more tabish. And that will now float just properly in the hole without touching any of the walls. Yay! Woohoo! We did it! Now there's cleanup. I have to paint the inside of those walls black now. Um, I'll let that sit for a while. This uh, deco art crafters paint that I picked up, uh, most craft stores, <clears throat> dollar stores, Walmart, works pretty good inside the cavity. Mm. Doesn't take a lot, spreads nicely, water based, and uh, dries flat black covers those areas that uh, might just show around stuff. Um, I use it on my Les Pauls, you know, especially where the truss rod goes in, I leave the covers off and sometimes they don't finish those areas very nicely. So a little bit of black around that area to cover up the, 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 the raw wood uh, does a nice job. 
and and then now it fixes this as well and uh, only takes a few drops in the bottom it's thick it's a thick crafters paint and uh, spreads nicely with just a you know crafters brush again dollar store stuff all righty then the paint is dry And we're going to put some tape around the edge of this pickup as well. And what we're going to do in the end, in order to get good adjustment, is we're going to use chrome pickup rings like I used on the Frankie but <clears throat> I can't drill the holes until I um, have the strings back on so I can position the pickups just perfect under the strings and over here what I'm going to do is uh, mark where the adjustment comes through for the truss rod here the fingerboard sits above the top of the body enough <clears throat> that this thin trim ring can fit under the edge so what I'm going to do is get a rough adjustment I'm going to mark from underneath here where I need to make a small cutout so that this does not cover over the top of the adjustment. The ends will be underneath the fingerboard. It'll look like a full trim ring, but it'll be actually cut off enough that I can actually adjust it. And then that will both give me nice, smooth adjustments for the pickups. And that's where I'm going with that. So now I'm going to put this aside and I'm going to start to mark up the fretboard because uh, there are some unleveled frets on that and before I do that I think I'm going to infuse all of the um, um, tuners with some uh, synthetic grease looking in there I don't see a lot of lubrication for them. In some of them I don't see any. So I'm going to use my Hypor Dormic to shoot some stuff in there. Wind those things around to get them all over the gears. And that'll be good. So I'm going to move this body to the other bench until I need to do some more work on it and uh, you know clean it up and stuff shine it I've got mahogany dust here and there but yes <clears throat> I think this is going to work out just fine and uh, I'll get back to you with the next uh, the next part Hypodermic lubrication. Handy little tool. That should smoothen these things right out. Ooh, yeah. That's the ticket. might hit an air bubble there okay wow <laughs> that's been so nice Whew. all right I didn't put any on that because that doesn't really matter 
can't get to them anyway. Boom. All right, that part's done. Need to put that back in the tube.